Hello everyone, Toby is here and in this video we will cover the last 10 stages of the void so from void 191 to 200 all perfected but before we start you know this is some sort of a bonus video so don't try to hashtag giveaway or any of that and uh, basically let's jump into void 191 here we go all right guys so for void 191 you have two options either cast no abilities or no casualties and honestly i like cast no abilities it's kind of make it easier as you can see i removed denji and uh, rufio and all of these heroes that they are kind of weak if they don't cast their abilities and i put some horses and just basically watch your troops kill some pay to win dragons nobody like pay to win dragons skins so um, you know not much to do i will show the formation at the end most of the stages are kind of similar formation as you saw in the last uh, video from 181 to to 190 and yeah just put it on speed 3 keep killing those dragons we'll show the damage and the formation at the end and then move on to 192 it shouldn't be too difficult to be honest but 193 is a little bit difficult and 195 is super difficult i will show you show you one by one even 200 is a little bit tricky but we'll go one by one so you can see here the, the health of the troops and the damage. This is by using checking out and then changing the prisms to all the greens damage and health and all of that. Uh, you know, and look at the, look at the look at the damage tanks taken. What, 110 billion. It's crazy. And this is the formation. Just removed some heroes and put horses. And you know, shouldn't be that difficult. So now let's jump into 192. All right. So for 192. You can see either no casualties or win with five heroes. I went with no casualties, you know, the whole uh, revive um, with the swords and all of that. So here, try, you want to try to kill the dragon first, you know, but his arrow blast pushed my Nora away. I, you know, trying to give her the buff, but not, uh, not in the range. So I gave the archers, make sure to, you know, tag the dragon. I think, or, or I jump with Rufio. I think Rufio will one shot him. Yeah, Rufio is a, he's like a dragon slayer. But you can you can went you can go with the, you know tagging dragon or it, it shouldn't be that difficult and yeah just make sure none of your hero dies and none of the archers dies that's the trick and you know for the swords just variant resurrection should do it at the end yeah not that difficult I would say next stage is a little bit tricky 193 I think some people will struggle with it but we'll see we'll show you. Yeah, and there you have it. It's perfected, no casualty. You see the damage now and all of these good things and formation and everything. All right, so that's the formation, kind of similar to my PvP formation. Nothing too special. Now I changed the PvP formation, by the way. But yeah, so let's jump into 193 now. All right, guys. So for 193, either win in 35 seconds or no casualty. This one is a little bit tricky, but you gotta kill the dragon as fast as you can. Make sure you know before you tag. Make sure that the dragon is in range before you tag. You know, just let him you know wait a little bit until the dragon gets close, and then mark him. Better actually mark because uh, marking with a cape artifacts, you know, the dragon receives more damage. So yeah, you want to do either, you know, 35, I went to 35 seconds. I could have actually done both of them, but uh, some of the priestesses died and I couldn't resurrect priests. If I remove them and put, you know, maybe one mana worm or something, I would have done the two conditions the same, same run. It shouldn't be that difficult if you kill the dragon fast. If you don't, you know, it's going to be tricky. But hey, you know, just pay attention to the, you know, skill order and all of that. Should, it shouldn't be that difficult. And yeah. See here, 35 seconds marking to you know receive more damage, and yeah, done it in 31 seconds. Perfected. So let's check the formation. You can see here only only some priestesses died, but yeah, so damage done, damage taken. I like rose, you know, always the damage taken is good. So let's check the formation real quick. So there you have it, almost similar to the usual one. Now let's jump into 194. Alright guys, so for 194, I was trying to do it with 35 seconds, but not possible. So at the end, I got pissed off. I just went, you know, fight with, you know, put speed 3 and cast no abilities. And I was trying so so hard to do it uh, with 35 seconds. And every time I'm short by like 3, three seconds or 4 seconds. 
you know, I got, you know, got frustrated, just pressed uh, fight. And uh, I was surprised. I didn't expect that, you know, it's, uh, it would be perfected, cast no abilities. I don't know why. I got tunnel vision about doing it 35 seconds. And, uh, you know, I, it was kind of funny because once I, you know, hit it like this, it's actually got perfected. I was like, why I was doing it the hard way? But hey, so, you know, cast no abilities works. But here's a, a little bit change in the formation because, uh, you know, cast no abilities, the dragon has to die first. And the dragon, you know, I cannot uh, tag it because cast no abilities. So as you can see here, I added a third archers, you know, kind of in the middle. So the dragon, when he rush, as you saw, you know, but Nora Nora going crazy, 3 billion. Gotta love it. And look at that, you know, the tanking damage of the swords. But yeah, see, I added a, I added a third um, archers and we got it. So now let's jump into 195. All right, guys. So for 195, I actually, you know, did not record it. And the reason is I was attempting it so many times that it wasn't convenient to keep the recording, you know. And I moved into from trying it from the PC to the tablet because it's like much more smoother. And I finally perfected it. But once I perfected it, obviously, I didn't want to retry because it was really difficult. I think this is the hardest void stage I have ever faced. And, you know, it's going to be a challenge for you guys because it's all filled with spears and uh, two dragons. And those dragons swap health every eight seconds and they stun and all of that. And the only condition is no casualty. So here is the trick or here's what I've done. So this is the formation that I used. You know, I worked. Uh, basically, I, I made this formation. I kept trying, you know, until I got uh, until I ended up with this formation. Uh, just one more thing. The hero that I'm covering is Fenris. Nothing special. Uh, but here, here's the trick. Three things you need to know uh, that I did with this formation. I started with Denji. So this is, you know, Denji, Denji. Cut through and all of that. So this is the first uh, thing you need to know. Second thing you need to know is toward the end, you know, make sure you use uh, Virian Resurrection. But uh, as you can see here, I added the Seraph, the, the big angel, which is the governor super unit. Make sure you use the super unit revive after Virium. So, because if you use it, uh, the Seraph can, you know, revive 20 units, humanoid units, which include uh, swordsmen as well. So, what you want to do is you want to revive uh, with Virium, get all the swordsmen up, and then use the Seraph to revive the archers. Because some archers will die, for sure. As you can see here in formation, I even moved them backward a little bit. Uh, because the spears is going to throw, at the beginning, through their spears, and they're going to kill stuff. So what you want to do is make sure none of your hero dies. As you can see here, I removed so many heroes from the main formation because any hero that is dying or, you know, at the end he's dying, I'm removing them. And then uh, just make sure uh, to, you know, save your archers as much as you can. Your swordsman is going to be fine with Virian Resurrection, but your archers, you know, put uh, healing receive next to them, uh, band of bishop, anything to keep them alive. And that's where I, you know, I had to be creative and I added the angel to revive the archers. And that's how I got it. And plus, as you can see here, I was using an onyx dragon. This onyx is a human predation. Human predation dragon with the, like a gravitation and, and just CC and all of that. No, 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 nothing too special. Just gravitation and uh, eternal void and uh, human predation. And I got it. But guys, this is a difficult one and... Um, it's probably the hardest stage I've, I've, I've played in, in Void because it has a lot of spears. So, God, well, we hate spears, man. So, yeah, and uh, what well, you should be able to do it, you know, follow this formation, follow the same method I tell you, start with Denji, cut through and all of that and uh, avoid tagging dragons. Just kill kill the archers, kill the spears and the dragons at the end, you can kill them, you know, when they I actually killed the last the last two units were the last two dragons I killed. So. Don't focus on killing the dragons, just clear up the, the spearsmen and the archers and the dragons will die by, by themselves uh, with the remaining troops you have. And you know, toward the end, revive the swordsmen and then Seraph revive the archer that died and you should get it. Best of luck, now let's jump into 196. Alright guys, so for 196, shouldn't be that difficult. Actually 196, 197 and 198 and probably 199 also, not that difficult. Should be all easy. Um, but yeah, I use... Um, mech predation dragon here nothing more nothing less nothing special now here win in 40 seconds or no casualty should be much easier to do, to win in 40 seconds you as you can see now you know just uh buffing the archers and uh, tagging nora gotta kill nora 
Oh, she died. What about that? Then Denji, Denji, you know, kill all those tanks and mechs. It shouldn't be that difficult. This stage is, you know, 40 seconds is more than enough, I think. Uh, did I get it? Yeah, yeah, it should, should be. You know, this stage is kind of easy. Even the one after and, and all the incoming stages are easy. But 195 was the nightmare. I think the way they did it is like they put the checkpoints every five uh, stages. So 185 was difficult, 190 was slightly difficult, the magic predation with the flower. And 195 is the most difficult and uh, 200 is a little bit tricky. So yeah, as you can see here, I just used the uh, mech predation. Nothing special. Nora Nora, always top damage. And uh, yeah, so this is the formation I use. Nothing too special, very similar. Now let's jump into 197. All right, guys. So 197 is actually uh, easy enough that I've done it without a dragon. So you know, perfected two two stages in a row. You know, perfecting two stages in a row kind of makes it uh, makes it helps you perfect them all fast. Uh, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, I finished the fourth person in the server to finish Void to perfect 200. So you got advantage because you're, you're gonna receive the recipes faster, and it's kind of you know. Kind of get it out of the way, to be honest, and uh, all good. I, 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 you know, I advise investing on finishing the void fast, so you get the recipes quickly, and you maybe get an advantage over others. Yeah, so this is shouldn't be any challenge, as you can see. Doing it without a dragon means absolutely you can do it uh, much easier with a dragon, 100%. You know, guys, dragon adds you know damage to heroes 70% with the draconic and all of the crazy buffs that the dragon offers. But yeah. I think I got it exactly 35 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be before 55. Use all the skills, yeah, yeah. There you have it. So, perfected in 35 seconds. Shouldn't be difficult, this one. Even the one after, as I said, the checkpoint was 195. Nightmare. Gosh, I hated 195. It's most difficult. Well, yeah. Damage. You know, all good stuff. Nothing too special, just three three archers, nothing special. Now let's jump into 198. Alright guys, so for 198, uh, this one got Traxxas. Um, also not too difficult, you know, no need for Magic Predation Dragon, nothing, nothing crazy. Just regular same formation that I've been using throughout most of the void, to be honest. And yeah, by the way, I've done everything, uh, all the void stages as a human, human race. Uh, humans are very versatile, they... they they fit in every, every, you know, especially for Void. I think they are the best for Void, to be honest. Through all the no-casualty conditions. And you need the um, revive of the Virion. Resurrection and all of that. But yeah. So now, just, you know, using Rufio, stunning those uh, archers. Watchers, or whatever they call it. Nothing too crazy. Should be easy. Denji Denji. Giving them some dumplings. Yeah, no casualties. No casualties is kind of one of the most uh, condition that I went with because of very in the clutch. Yeah, this one not too difficult. So there you have it. Uh, no casualties. Let's uh, quickly check the formation. Nothing too special, similar. Now, let's jump into 199. Alright guys, so for 199, I, I tried cast no abilities and um, didn't work that well. And then I, you know, attempted win in 35 seconds. So, let's see. I used the mech predation dragon, the one I used earlier in the previous uh, stage. Not the previous one, the one with the mechs. But hey, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult. Denji Denji cut through all of these uh, mechs and rockets. Here I was you know, trying to tag uh, Gafgar, I don't know where is he, but he apparently died, so he resurrected some swords to, you know, jump with Rufio, nothing too crazy, it should, should be alright, should be easy to finish it in 35 seconds. Yeah. There you have it. Done it in almost, is it? Yeah. So, done it in 32 seconds, I think. So let's quickly check the formation. Actually, no, you know, no casualty as well. So if they had this condition, no casualty would have been perfect as well. You know, 
So this is the formation I use. Nothing too crazy. We have seen this formation many times now. Now let's move on to the last void stage, 200. It's a little bit tricky, but I will explain. All right, guys. So for void 200, the last stage, it has uh, four heroes. All right. So it's got Took and uh, Solaris Bartender and Bane and also Rufio. So what you need to do is you need to, if one of the heroes reach 75% health, he will be immune until the other three heroes reach 75%. Same when they reach 50 and then and then reach uh, 25 and then zero basically. So what you want to do is you want to have them all being focused at the same time. Now, how are you, how are you going to do that? Let me show you the formation that I used. First, let me show you the video and you can see it together. And then we can discuss the formation. All right. But now you get the idea. So let's see. All right. So what I did here, I made a formation. I ha you have to have archers in the right side as well. So you can focus on the, the hero on the right side and have Denji in the middle. You know, with uh, Nora focusing on uh, Tuk and uh, Solaris. Buffing them, see, Tuk and Solaris will get focused by, by default. And then you want to tag uh, Bane, you know. And obviously the other side is stronger, so they're going to focus on uh, Rufio by default as well. See, he's getting focused. Now all of them died at the same time. Here I was trying to, you know, tag the other heroes, but then I'm looking for them. Where are they? They all died. That's the idea. Having, you know, the main focus uh, in the middle with uh, Nora and Denji. They're going to focus Solaris and uh, talk by default. And you want to tag, what's his name? Rufio on the right side. Uh, I mean, uh, Bane on the right side. And Rufio will be focused by default on the left side. And uh, resurrect at the end. And that's how I've done it. It's actually not too difficult if you get the right formation for it. Uh, you know, perfected. Void 200. Done. So let me show you the formation. Make sure you copy it and everything. Should be should be alright. Yeah, this is, was an interesting uh, stage. I didn't expect to to do it, but uh, actually, once you get the idea, it's not that difficult. Let's quickly check the formation. So yeah, guys, this should do it. You know, this is a uh, formation that I used. And uh, good luck with perfecting all the void stages. Good luck perfecting them all. And uh, yeah, guys. Till next time, I hope this video is helpful and uh, guys, take it easy. See ya.